city of Maltby Cafe here, the Maltby Cafe, and it is busy. So if you're in the area, check it out. Maltby Cafe. Oh yeah, they have a number of declarations and awards, um, an explanation from write-ups in the newspaper and stuff like this. You can pause the video if you want to like zoom in on anything. So I'll just hold up here. This one's a little bit rich with data. It's from November of 1992. This is an example of a gas pump before they removed lead. So it contains tetraethyl lead. And you had to crank the handle here like this. And you see like this. It had the same kind of filler handle, right? And a hose that goes to the machine. Here's another antique gas distribution. So here's the hose and the machine itself, right? And then this one is more like the kind of consumer model. So you've got your gallon readout here. And then this is a pump. Fuel, uh, so the gas would come out here, go through a filter, and then to the hose, although the hose has been removed. So this was unleaded gas, so this is newer than the other one, presumably, or updated. Um, it's kind of cool though to see antique gas pumps like that. We're at this antique place in Maltby. If you ever want to stop in here, it's pretty cool, like going into the past. Meg spotted this antique um, doctor's office or haircutting chair. Oh, it's haircutting, you can see here. Oh, I presume it's haircutting. I could be wrong. This. Patented. And this is a parking meter right here. Yeah, it's, this is registered at the U.S. Patent Office. Oh, right Meg says this is patented. If you look at this like that. Meg spotted this electronic engine testing unit. So volts and ohms is a measure of the voltage and resistance. A dwell condenser, I'm not, it's a capacitor measurement. The engine RPM, so how many revolutions per minute, and then combustion efficiency. So this was used to diagnose engine issues in cars before our time. Check out this antique rail tractor operation here. It's got steel wheels. They don't make them like that anymore. In fact, a newer John Deere, if you need it serviced, you have to fly the engineer out to your farm, pay for their stay, and it costs thousands of dollars, and they lock it out with software. Back in this day, a farmer could work on their own equipment. But this is pretty small by tractor standards, given the combines today that are the size of an RV or bigger. This building where we found the tractor is actually an old schoolhouse building uh, from 1911. But it's not used as a schoolhouse anymore. Use steps at your own risk. And this is back before the litigious sue everyone like Donald Trump does uh, era in America when people didn't litigate against each other for accidents. And... Oh, Aaron, look! Meg found a snail. There's two of them. One here. In this bush here. That is a snail. There's another baby little one. 